Rebels 2-2 two two in conference play, trying to do better than that. Texas A&M still looking to hit their stride. Welcome, everybody. Tom Hart alongside Jordan Rogers. Smith from about the two. He's got a seam, and he takes it out to the 25. Mond on play action gets dropped. The O-line let two through. It's a loss of eight, led by Sam Williams, and the league's tackle for loss leader. To get to Kellen Mond, slow plays it, got a blocker coming, makes a great move, and that is so tough for a quarterback. Play action going to your left. If you don't have a lot of space, it's tough to flip your hips in time to get rid of the ball. Isaiah Spiller, the running back. Mon to the perimeter. No yards after catch for Kent. Mon has all day, but he sails it high. Courtney Davis defended by Armani List by the Alabama punt return game last week. The reigning Ray Guy Award winner, Braden Mann, gets it away. Angled. That's about perfect, and it goes out of bounds. Blitz coming. Plumley gives it up, and Phillips with patience turns it into a gain of six on first down with 544 yards nine years ago. Phillips on the toss finds just one. A third and three corner blitz. Plumley taking it on his own, and he gets spun around. It'll be short of the first down. DeMarvin Leal starting at one end spot. In there to make the stop for him on a stop on third down. Aggies missing a handful of players in this game tonight. We'll explain later. Mac Brown gets it away. Fantastic coverage for the Ole Miss special teams. <laughs> Kellen Mond to throw. Deep out route, and that's complete for a first down. He had more success than you did with it. And they're going to reverse it. Courtney Davis finds the edge, gets a block, may have been a block in the back, and he turns in a first down. Most, I mentioned earlier that AM was without and still not available, according to Jimbo Fisher, who wouldn't specify exactly why Elam is not available, but it's been a few games now. There's Spiller who finds one on the right side. And on the off. Second and nine. Mike McIntyre brings an extra man. Mon running the option. Mon takes it straight up field. Mon's got a first down to the 25 yard line. And that's the running game we talked about coming more from the quarterback than other spots. And I love it. A design quarterback, really a lead option here. He's got a lead blocker from one running back. And if he gets a force player, he's got the ability to pitch it as well. But nobody there. These are the type of design. And we got a flag of movement. Mark Curls is our referee. Going to bring Cole in on this. Ball start, number 55, offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Cole, do you expect Tech? He claimed that they've been playing great. They bring four. Mon to run again. Mon cutting behind the official. And he picks up eight. Going against their tendency. And it pays off with a first down run from the freshman from Spring, Texas, Isaiah Spiller. Quarterback run again. Mon. Finding the edge, gets forced out of bounds by Lakia Henry at the 10. Baldry trying to lead the way, and they scratch and crawl for a couple. Right. Out of the backfield, and that one is stuffed out. Spiller swallowed up by Willie Hibbler. He's made a field goal in 12 straight games. You can make it 13. And AM is on the board on their second possession. It's a 10 play, 73 yard drive. Jerry and Ely back to receive this one. And Ely lets it go over his head. Poison two or three times. Oh, yes. Here's a reverse. Getting clever here on the second possession with Dennis Jackson. Iodine powder. Yes. Catch his breath. Rich Rod in the middle of those coaches. 
first pass and it's batted away. And there's a flag a little bit late. Dennis Jackson, the intended receiver. Chapman might have got there a little early. Had a great jump on this ball. Ole Miss loves to do this. A quick sprint. They try to throw a quick out. That one to Dennis Jackson. Pass interference. Number 10, defense. The penalty is a first down at the spot of the foul. They got Miles Jones for the pass interference. It looked like it was Clipper Chapman, as you mentioned, that was all over. And we should see a lot of nickel tonight for Texas A&M. Darian Ely. The freshman's got the sideline. He's got speed to the 10, and he stays on his feet for a 69-yard touchdown run. Nice. Is John Rice Plumley this spring? He told us, he said, you know what? Honestly, I have no desire to play. He lost contain on that play. So good blocking and a missed assignment by Texas AM. No return for Smith. And he's going to bring it out. How about this decision? Took a pop at the 11. Six through the air currently. That game in Athens. Spiller back in the game. Only one yard on the left side. Cool. Mon has been their real threat. He goes over the middle, and it's a big catch by the tight end, Jalen Weidemeyer. And it will go for a Texas A&M first down after a gain of 29. That's just a great play design. Mon finds Weidemeyer for a second consecutive play, spins off the tackler. He's got back-to-back -back first downs. Let's get... And so AM moving the chains after a gain of 14. Tilkinson High School in Texas. Spiller and somebody lost their hat. Let's get to the studio. Here's Dari. Second down for AM. Great coverage downfield. Mont thought his receiver is going out. He turned in and it's incomplete. Mon looking for Osmond. He was covered. He'll have to take off. And Kellerman gets cut down before he can pick up the first down. It's Willie Hitler making another stop from his linebacker spot. Probably career long is 52. And that one's leaking. And it misses wide right. That Luke's team with a big defensive stop to back up high school. Jerry and Ely picks up three. Talking with John Rice yesterday. What? Where the best place to run the football is. Plumley wanted to throw. And he'll stop and pump and lob. And just too strong for Braylon Sanders. He was wide open. Down a little bit. Watch this. He's going to initially look to the right, trying to hit the wheel route. Uses his legs. And watch Braylon Sanders slow down a little bit right there. And that's the half a step that makes the difference. Mm. You'd love him to keep running full speed there, but five wide going deep again and through the hands of Miles Battle. Back to back pass attempts. It goes. I'd still like to see Ole Miss utilize the middle of the field. They throw to the edges deep a lot. And I Smith, he's got room. Smith past the logo and past midfield. 44-yard punt, 34-yard return. Kellamon out of the shotgun. There's a little play action. He's looking for Osmond. Now it goes back, and he throws it right to the other team. Intercepted by Ole Miss and Austrian Robinson. Multiple flags after the play. Ole Miss gets the ball back. Wow. Just never sees the Ole Miss defender. After the interception, personal foul, blind side block. Ninety-seven, Kadir Shepard. The new left tackle, Nick Broker, is in there for Ole Miss. Michael Howard with a shoulder injury, looks like. Plumley on the run. That's complete for a first down. Let's bring in Matt Austin on that last play, the blind side block. Matt, at what? They want that block taken out of the game. He can lead with his hands. 
It's interesting to me, and they're going to run it, and it's an uh, overabundance of caution in this. Now, with a toss to John Rice Plumley, who attempted the pass. Safety blitz coming. Plumley gives it up, and AM is all over it. Scotty Phillips met up with Buddy Johnson. Plumley on the run. Incomplete. Trying to find Elijah Moore. And AM survives the Kellen Mon interception, uh, forcing Ole Miss to a three and out. Smith will take a fair catch inside the nine. Some key turnovers in the Clemson game. Still hasn't targeted Osmond yet tonight. Here's Spiller. Tried to shake, and he got baked by Jalen Julius. Great. A lot of that's on the offensive line. Spiller again. And he will muscle his way for a few. The perimeter extension of that run game. Mon pulls it back. He gets dropped for the second time tonight. Jalen Julius with the safety blitz. And an old miss. Trying to set up a screen. That one was nearly picked. Spiller comes up with it, but not much doing. Quentin Bevins almost reached it. It turned. Pressure coming. Mon can't escape. He's sacked for the third time. This one is Charles Wiley and it costs the Aggies 11 yards. Front, they're going to bring linebackers here, and it's the movement that ends up getting the Mon. Mm. Just yeah, a big just... win for Austin Robinson there inside. Just a one on one, nice swim move. He was able to shake Kenyon Green. Punt will take a hop and check up. And again, Ole Miss will have good field position. Scotty Phillips next to him, corral to throw. Looks backside, wants a deep ball. And diving catch with a flag. Braylon Sanders hauls it in. 44 yards. To make on the outside, readjusting. And did he get it? Did he get it? What he got? Not knowing when the other guy's going to be in. Mark Curls. Wow, it's not because of a penalty or a bad play or something that you did wrong. It's because the other guy's giving us an advantage. There's Plumley on the carry. Uh, furthering the conversation, you know. And if you communicate with them and they know where they stand, Corral tosses. Plumley wanted to throw, and he will throw incomplete. It will affect you. Third and eight. Matt Corral, a quarterback now. Corral lobs it. And they're going to say that's caught in bounds. It's Braylon Sanders again. It'll go for 29 yards. What a job to get his foot down. Another circus catch. Last one was an almost catch. This one, let's see. Oh. He's going to get another one. It's going to come back. We get 90 yards. The Royal Lesson receiver did not maintain control of the ball. That puts a different lead pass. Head coach lost him five overtimes to Virginia Tech today. First five overtime game in college football this season. They had the new rules in place. Fair catch was asked for. The receiver got blown up, and it'll be a flag on Ole Miss. Dennis Jackson. And Peter. Kick catch in the Number five, kick it to him. Cody Stinky Lawson, the spiral foul. Let's go. Timeout. Here's Spiller. And he gets hog tied after a game of almost nine. Pretty good company among Power Five quarterbacks. Spiller straight ahead, and he's able to pick up the first down. Cole, you've watched a lot of AM tape. What is their identity? That option look again. Ole Miss, great penetration. And Spiller ends up with a six yard gain. They played a lot of nickel tonight. Base formation here. And to the edge, it's Spiller. 
Let's go back to the studio. Hey, they saw their chances to win the East dip from 40% to just 10% thanks to that loss. And Florida was able to pull out a win against South Carolina earlier today. Gamecocks looked pretty tough. They're about to get something quick on the perimeter. A little bit behind his receiver, and that's going to leave third and seven. Low snap. Mon recovers over the middle. Tipped and intercepted. An all Miss takeaway by Dante Evans. Great play by Ole Miss. Evans sharing the turnover chain. It's a shark tooth necklace here. Is John Rice Plumley. Plumley scrambles to near midfield. 12 yard run from the freshman. Isn't it amazing? They do that to Alabama a few weeks ago. You just don't do that against an Alabama defense. Ely gets swallowed up and will lose a couple. But talking to him yesterday, he just kind of shrugged his shoulders. He's second and 12 for John Rice Plumley. He told us that he was timed at Mississippi State a couple years ago, Cole. What did he say? His 40 times? Two listed as records gained by the freshman quarterback on the ground. Plumley pulls it back, lobs it, and he's able to find his tight end, Cooley. And it's some creativity. John Rice Plumley ad libs his way to an Ole Miss first down and a gain of 16. That right there is tough to coach. You got a young guy that's really talented with his legs. More often than not, this early in his career, he keeps that. But to keep his eyes up, that's something you can't coach. Going with tempo now. Plumley shovels it out to the edge. And Elijah Moore runs into traffic. And he ran into Damani Richardson. A little misdirection on the counter. Ely ahead of by a string. And he's able to make his way down to the 25 and a gain of eight. But the reason there is so... To the ground and Buddy Johnson says not right now no gain that dude is jacked Ow. Plumley wants to run got blocking on the edge he beats Buddy Johnson but we got a flag back towards the offensive line Buddy Johnson by the way number one for AM was a dual threat quarterback at Dallas Kimball he was the leading rusher and receiver what yeah Yes. How is that possible? I don't know. Holding number eight offense. Ten yard penalty for the spiral foul. We play second down. That's down Elijah Moore. But he was probably that size in high school too, and just <laughs> I mean, it was a man among boys. Just running over dudes. Yeah, I mentioned the the good blocking on the outside by Ole Miss, and that's the risk you take when your receivers are aggressive. Five wide again. And a quarterback run again, and it is taken down. Tyree Johnson. And AM has won the chess match the last couple. That's a loss of three. Wow. And a root. On third and 18. Man coverage. Incomplete. Home crowd wanted a flag on Miles Jones. It never came. And from 50, his career long is 41. Got the leg, but that one's pushed right. And both kickers have missed long field goals going that direction in the fog. It's Vanderbilt. Remember that 43 0 loss? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Bond over the middle. He's finding his tight end. Another big play. It's not just a catch, but a catch and run from Jalen Weidermeyer. Weidermeyer, 6'5, 260. He's a great high school basketball player as a shooting guard and a wing. That's big. Go, go, the outside go. catch made after the defender slipped, and it's the first target for Jamon Osmond, and it turns into a first down. Aggies rolling here. I got a T-shirt because they felt bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> Over the middle, complete. That's Courtney Davis. The guys from Triland throw a better javelin than you do. It's a gain of 15. Love what A&M's doing right now. Miss out of that too high zone. Mon finding his rhythm. Pressure from the edge and incomplete. Diving attempt by Osmond. As a junior from Houston by way of IMG Academy. Three man rush. They drop eight. Out of the backfield is Spiller. Clock will stop at 44. And then you get a play like in the middle of the field. 
Osmond goes to a corner route, and it's caught in the end zone for an Aggie touchdown on the outside, Kendrick Rogers. Man coverage, and Mond takes advantage with an 18-yard scoring strike. Osmond in the slot had a two-way go. He could take the middle or go up the seam. He's covered up the seam. So Kellen Mond goes outside to his big-bodied 6'4 receiver, and you can't get better ball location than that right there. It's coming up for a cupcake schedule there. No. After all that, the point after his punch through. Where you got your start. Yeah. Shout-out Capital City Bombers. Oh, started to bring it out. You got to come all the way out of the end zone, just kind of like getting into it. You got no timeouts left. This is a close one here in the first half. John Rice Plumley. He'll just do it with his legs. He gets taken down inbounds. The clock will run. It'll stop for a moment to reset the chains, but a 16-yard run. And here's where I'd spike it, if possible. I see. I would have got there as quick as possible. Spiked it. You don't need four downs. Wasting. About five, six, seven seconds now. And Plumley will keep it on the ground. And that will do it in the first half, likely, as the clock runs. Didn't pick up the first down. He's going to try to hustle and get another playoff. Now they spike it. We had a long talk with all the coaches yesterday about clock management. Corral facing a three man rush. A stiff arm. Now he's got time. And he scrambles out of bounds. I thought there was one second, but the clock says triple zeros. And to be able to launch this, but I like what Texas A&M's doing here. They're rushing Corral's right side. He unloads. He's got the depth into the end zone. Everybody there, and the ball falls incomplete. Ole Miss is clock managed. A low kick, and the knuckleball will carry out of bounds. We're going to flag on it. Gives us a chance to go down to the sideline as we check in with Cole. At Hemingway Stadium, John Rice Plumley is the Ole Miss quarterback. He hands it up to Scotty Phillips. He finds a huge hole. Phillips trying to break away. The stiff arm gets him 10 more. And Phillips trips off a 39-yard run. Boy, right out the gate, just Phillips. They got some good backs. I mean, Ely's a great player, but they won't miss a beat with Phillips and Connor. Plumley side arms it out to the tight end Jason Pellerin. Phillips is Phillips in the backfield with Ely unavailable. Here comes the pressure. Corral dumps it off that direction and Snoop Connor forgot to bring it with him. Up. It's third and seven. Three man rush essentially. He'll lob it. And that is popped on the sideline by Scotty Phillips. What beautiful touch on the pass. It goes for 22. And Phillips and Connor flank Plumley. Straight ahead, Snoop Connor. Touchdown, Ole Miss, and the Rebels back in front. 65 yard drive. They needed just five plays to cover the distance. Two of those plays, big ones for Scotty Phillips. Hans yards through the air came on the final drive for Texas AM, their touchdown drive. This time he hands it off, and we've got a flag on the play on the run from Isaiah Spiller. By the way, of note for Texas A&M, they've been in the area for a few days now. Flew into Memphis, team hotel up there about an hour north of uh, Oxford, up in Olive Branch. Holding number 76, offense. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. We play first down. That's Colton Prater who's back in the game. Back to Aguilain. Only question... Brand him as if it will be a happy flight. Mon to the tight end Watermeyer again. We'll get five yards back and still have a long way to go. Another flag. Nice catch by Jamon Osmond. Ten yards on the field. Let's see what the flag is. Offside, number 97 defense lined up in the neutral zone. Penalties five yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. Starting with the last drive of the first half. Jimbo Fisher says he's graded out better than 90% on his reads this season. Contact, but after the ball got there by Deontay. Ole Miss brings four. 
They get to mine with four. And he goes down for the fourth time tonight. Sam Williams set out the first half, and the junior making his impact felt here. Early. Carson Green really just gets his hands out of the way. A quick swim move, didn't even need it. Green got a little too much over his toes. A&M has been protecting Kellen Mond. Green, preseason freshman All-American out of Humble, Texas. Beautiful punt. All the way back to the 23 is Elijah Moore. Into traffic and then knocked down as he takes it back to the 30. That was a 55-yard punt. How about Wisconsin going down? It's a great game. Illinois with a walk-off kick to win it. Scotty Phillips thrown down by Jaden Peavy. Really thought Wisconsin. Second and 12. They roll up a safety. Man coverage on the edge. Plumley chased on the run. And he lets it go incomplete. Queen. You maybe allow him to have a cleaner throw as they do right here. Zero coverage, and that one is incomplete. Here comes the flag. They set the house, and Ole Miss able to take advantage. Elijah Blades with a pass interference. Pass interference, number two, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Third A&M defensive pass interference. Colts Aqua came to A&M last year from Notre Dame. A couple schools wanted him as a head coach in the offseason, but he draws a fairly competitive salary in Aggieland. Gain of three. But the maturity date on this team is going to come next season. Plumley. He is just... He is slippery. He is fast. It almost seems like the title. That includes Les Miles. And Kansas giving Texas a fit tonight. That in Austin. Snoop Connor with the carry. There's nothing Aggie fans would love more than to see Les Miles go in and get a win. Plumley takes it between the tackles, only finds a couple. How important is it in a QB run game to have him threat? He sticks it in the running back's gut and he can pull it really quick and get an easy throw. Tough to run against Justin Metabike. Phillips does just that. And he's running over, folks. Took it right at Tyree Johnson. Again, a 10. And an Ole Miss first down. Rebels, a shot injured ribs. Opened up the door for Plumley to get more playing time. Snoop Connor, four yards. Way. That makes a linebacker start to play real hesitant. After six consecutive runs, Plumley's showing pass. And he gets dropped. The ball came out, scooped up by AM. Aggies have it. It's Buddy Johnson, the former high school quarterback. And he'll take it the rest of the way. 63 yards in a scoop and score. And AM's defense bails him out. And Ole Miss had so much momentum on that drive. That right there shows the youth of John Rice Plumley throwing the football. Normal drop back, stayed in the pocket. He's got to stay there. He does not have to vacate the pocket just yet. And if he does, he needs to run away from pressure to his left. A lot of young quarterbacks gravitate to escaping the pocket to your right. He escaped right into traffic. That's what led to that. Tripped it. Point after is good. It looked like Ole Miss was getting ready to put a stranglehold on this game. And just like that, Buddy Johnson with his 63-yard fumble returns. A short kick and a fair catch taken. Let's walk through the pressure that AM brought and the effect on it. Ole Miss sent against a conference opponent since 2012 against Arkansas. Ole Miss trying to reclaim that momentum. And a toss to Tylen Knight. It's about with his skill set. But right now, this Ole Miss team needs his leadership. These type of mistakes need to not phase him. As a young quarterback, that's tough sometimes, but he's got to rally the troops right now. They're all looking at him. In situation for Ole Miss, a sense of urgency to get to bowl game for the upperclassmen, while also playing so many youngsters. Corral lobs it, it's incomplete, and it's a flag. It's another defensive pass interference on Texas A&M. This time it's Devin Morris. Their secondary has been flagged four times in coverage. Pass interference, number seven defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Boy, this is a this is a tough call here. You're going to see Devin Morris. Doesn't get eyes on the football. There's not a ton of contact. It's it's this last lunge. I'm okay with that. I mean, oh, 
You I don't, don't see it, do you? I don't see it. I mean, there's a little bit of hand fighting. If he turns his head, it's a no call, but because he's not playing the football, but still, I think that's one that could have easily not been called. Scotty Phillips taken down by Justin Metavike. John Rice Plumley out of the shotgun. Quarterback draw. And he is not just fast, but he's also strong. Eight yard run up the middle. Second straight play now on the third and two. Safety coming up. And they got the two they needed. It was Scotty Phillips. Two running backs and a running quarterback. And a bad snap. Ball scooped up. They'll pick up the first down and more. Scoop Connor off to the races. Just like you drew it up. He remembered his green hat this time. It's a 34-yard run off of a poor snap. Now, he's played a lot of center. But he started this game on right guard, now playing center. Phillips hit in the backfield by Matabike. No gain. On a foggy night in Oxford, second and goal. Very slow developing run by Scotty Phillips. No gain. Got a chance to win in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Plumley Can't escape Texas A&M and Devin Morris. That is a complete bust. I, I, I'm pretty sure that Elijah Moore in the slot is supposed to either come back and get this ball from John Rice Plumley or fake the reverse. Look at Plumley's looking for, yeah. I mean, in, in and Elijah Moore came after the play, looked to the sideline, put his hands up. I think that was a complete bust. 35-yard attempt for Luke Logan. He's already made from 50 tonight to tie the game. Whoa! AM got a piece of it. And the Aggies will watch it get into the end zone. Ole Miss can't connect. They had first and goal from the 10. They get nothing out of it. was untouched by the receiving team beyond the line of scrimmage. Therefore, it's a touchback. Goes back to the 20-yard line, first down. Justin Matabike got penetration. Him and Bobby Brown. Boy, one of the field goals earlier in the game, I did notice the center of that line get blown up in that time. 30, and both come up with nothing. For the ground game, and Isaiah Spiller no game. They don't this time, and Mons, who's a hole open up on the right side. Jacquez Jones finally brings him down after seven. Three man rush. Mon drilled as he lets it go, and it will fall incomplete. Sam Williams brought the pressure and put him in the turf. Kellen Mon took a monster hit. Had two receivers breaking towards the middle of the field, so no one was able to start a quarter. Two possessions, both times, three and out. Low kick takes an Aggie hop and gets out of bounds at about the 20. Carries the two touchdowns. Jake Fromm just 9 of 12 for 35 yards in a rain game. Here's Elijah Moore trying to make up for his missed assignment on the long Johnson can last. Corral lets it go. Intercepted! Texas A&M gets it from Chapman. I do not like the play call here. And, and just Corral's in the game. They're taking deep shots. You roll your quarterback to his left, and you're trying to throw an inside slot fade. That is a difficult throw. Side down warning. Texas A&M. Their first warning of the half. First warning of the game. First and ten. A&M. So he's been predictable without the counters that he was hoping to use or promising to use. Mon with a bullet to the edge. That's good for an A&M first down. Pickup of 11 to Jamon Osmond. An interception. And A&M with the ball to start the fourth quarter in the fog. 
Here's Kennelman. It's starting to become eerily reminiscent of the 1988 NFL game at Soldier Field between Randall Cunningham and the Eagles. Finally, flags and whistles after the jump up front. Benito. Here's Isaiah Spiller. Gain of three. Bond. Complete. And Jamon Osmond stopped short of the first down. And that's going to leave about third and three. He's averaging just three yards a carry tonight. He's got lead blockers, and he's got a first down. Bond stays inbounds to take it all the way down to the 20. 15-yard run. What made you say that? What did you see? Well, just bodies over here, and they're not accounting for the quarterback. You also have a running back there that can be a lead blocker. So you have four athletic guys that can get on the edge because you're 11 later. Ball getting thicker. Mon hit as he throws, and that one will fall to the turf. Sam Williams, again, dirty. Had a sack last week in the loss at Missouri. Mon lets it go to the outside. That is caught. First and goal now. Jamon Osmond, another grab. He was really quiet early. That one goes for 11. Now, now play action. Mon facing pressure. Lobs it. Incomplete. Kendrick Rogers, the intended receiver. Benito Jones, goal for AM. They get all sorts of discombobulated before the snap. Before the snap, false start, offense. Five-yard penalty, still second half. Draw. Mon. Corralled and dropped by Sam Williams. Looks right, fires incomplete, no flag. Osmond had to go over his head. Kedron Smith with the coverage, 24. Missed it, he pushed it right. And the Aggies come up with nothing. Thing for an upset, 40 all between Kansas and Texas. On the money and complete. Matt Corral with a strike for a gain of 15. Also former. Scotty Phillips. Just shy of the marker. It's gonna leave second and short. You take a shot here. Well, hear your throw. And then a zone run play on the second one. Second and short, nothing doing. Snoop counter taken down. So now, just is brimming with confidence. On third and two, they want him to throw against the blitz. He lobs it down the side. It is incomplete. And Ole Miss now looking at fourth and a long two. Please run the football. Third and short, I like him in the ball game. And he is Smith up the sideline. Now back towards the middle. And he gets tripped up. By the punter, Mac Brown, 44-yard punt, 26 on the return. Set. Kellerman at Texas A&M with 8.50 to go. And Cordarian Richardson, sophomore from just up the road of Memphis, by way. One of the toughest schedules in college football. And it's been tough sledding for him. Richardson will grind out more. Got to get lined up. Play clock at one, and they get it off. Three-man rush. Mon out of the backfield, incomplete. And so both teams. With the defender on that angle, should have a third and five play. Should have been plenty of time, right, with only a three-man rush? Yeah. That is a beautiful punt. It turns over, and it checks up, and it'll trickle to the pylon and out of bounds. What a fantastic job. A 55-yarder from Braden Mann, the reigning Ray Guy Award winner, Shane Leckler, the nine-time Pro Bowler, will be pleased with this one. That guy's the man. Punter, you. A&M 
living up to their reputation. Punters celebrate too. Matt Corral, the passing quarterback, is in. Another deep ball down the sideline. Same play call. Generally the same result. Sanders, the intense. That's a low percentage throw there. Corral just three of eight tonight. They try to run it out of the end zone. They do. Soup Connor will give him a little bit of wiggle room. That quarterback getting the run going. Corral pressure. Pushed out towards the back of the end zone and incomplete. Had a wide receiver there, but it'll be three and out. Outside the tackle box, threw the ball beyond the line of scrimmage. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Fourth down. Ole Miss wanted to get this play going quickly with AM unsettled, but they were unsettled that direction. Yeah, and then you leave a defensive end completely unblocked, sliding the offensive line all the way to the left. Has not returned to that game since going into the tent and into the locker room early. Anaya Smith gets tripped up and dropped at the 45-yard line. 55-yard punt, four on the return. He's got the football. Kellen Mond wants to put it in the air on first down. Oh, dangerous pass. It's complete to Osmond. But Jalen Jones was all awesome receiver. You see this guy in person, shredded. Zero body fat, big hands. Mon bottled up immediately. He squirts free, and he's able to pick up the first down. Aggies had to struggle through a neutral site win against Arkansas a couple weeks ago. Here on the reverse, it's Courtney Davis. Davis has nowhere to go. Jacquez Jones had it read the entire way. It's a loss of six. There's nobody guarding. There we go. He gets out there. It's a draw all the way. Mon with a stiff arm carries it inside the 40. And a hurdle of the bench at the end. So let's see if they bring it. They're going to back off. Mon running. Mon first down. He seems to be able to see the hole even before it opens. Now, and I mentioned, is McIntyre going to spy any of these linebackers? You're going to see there's nobody right here. Jacquez Jones, the linebacker that's supposed to be right there, is guarding the slot defender outside, which leaves nobody on Mond. That's where Mike McIntyre might start using some defensive timeouts. We talked to him about it yesterday. Ryan Rennick, one of the tight ends. Weidemeyer, the other. They run behind Weidemeyer, and they got a first down and more. Spiller, touchdown, Texas A&M. 22 yards. Aggies take the lead here, and Texas just hit a walk-off field goal to knock down Kansas. Tom Harmon's team su uh, survives against Les Miles. Seth Small for the point after. It's good. 10-point AM lead with 2.34 to go. You see Charles Wiley on this play. He's got contain. He's going to start in and just doesn't get back outside to stop contain here. Does a good job at first, but you got to see this coming. Got to get back outside off that block as quick as possible. Hangs on the block a little too long and isn't able to come off and get Spiller in time. Rebels need some big plays. Try to get it started with special teams, and Jalen Jones gets tripped up at the 16-yard line. I mean, I know it's late, but Texas A&M is going to be playing outside leverage, protecting the sidelines. Leaping catch made for a first down by Elijah Moore. And a great job there on a corner wretch. Rebels can stop the clock three times. We're down two scores. Brow flush from the pocket, and he's going to take a sack, taken down at the 22-yard line. Clock rolling at two minutes. Matt Luke will not use a timeout here. Andre White Jr. with the sack. It's a loss of 12. Now finally they use a timeout. <laughs> that couldn't have been fun. 
On second and 21, they go over the middle. They get some of it back. Clock will roll. It's Braylon Sanders. They can't afford to use a timeout here. You only have two left, and you're down two scores. Yeah, you got to keep those in your pocket. But again, if those timeouts are going to come into effect, you got to score really in the next 20, 30 seconds. Corral pumped, let it go. It was intercepted, picked off by Renfro. And now they say incomplete. To get enough time. Texas A&M looks like they're just going to rush three. They flush him. Corral escapes. And he gets to the marker. Fresh set of downs. Clock will stop for a moment. 124 to go. Corral. Corral will throw this one backwards. It's a live ball. And they say it was incomplete. I, that looked backwards to me, did it not to you? That was really close. Illegal backward pass to conserve time. Penalty is loss of down, plus five yards for the spot of the foul. Second down. Plays. Four man rush, Corral quickly to the outside. Catch made. Bring it in. Incomplete. Corral will re enter. I'm Matt Corral. I'm looking in the direction of Elijah Moore, which he does. First down for Ole Miss. 102. So Corral caught his breath. Four wide here. Down 10. Under a minute to go. Shovel pass. It is hauled in by Snoop Connor after a bobble. Another Ole Miss first down in consecutive plays. Clock stops for a second at 48. Now you got to take a shot in the end zone. After this, to stop the clock, you, I'm taking a shot. Corral looking for him, and now he dumps it out to Connor. Got a stiff arm. He gets tripped up inbounds. The clock will run. 35, and Matt Luke uses a timeout here. Luke Logan from 35. Had one blocked a while ago, and he pushes this one through. In her third bounce. And he can still take a fair catch on that high hop. Yeah. There you go. That's a good one. And Ole Miss punches it forward. The Rebels can't quite get it. Talk about the long-term viability. Illegal batting, the ball forward by the kicking team. The ball was out of bounds after it later being touched by the receiving team. The ball belongs to Texas A&M. Ten-yard penalty will be added to the out-of-bounds spot. Their ball, first down. There wasn't a whole game to A&M. They get Mississippi State at home next, and they're trying to sweep the Mississippi schools for the first time since Johnny Manziel was their quarterback. And that'll do it. Aggies take the knee, and they will run out the clock on Ole Miss. Aggies got a big block field goal. They got a fumble return of 62 yards for a score for Buddy Johnson. They put up with an inconsistent offensive attack. They included a pair of picks thrown by Kellen Mond, but they hold on for the victory. With a touchdown victory on the road. Cole is standing by with Jimbo. Coach Fisher, based on what's already happened this season and what you know is coming up this season, how important was it to get a W tonight? It was big to get a W tonight. They used to go on the road, get that out of the way. We didn't play great at all. Thought we had good momentum, and they come out and control the third quarter. We got the big drive down there, didn't score. Then we did get a score, though. We found some more running game. We just got to keep sawing wood, but we got a big win on the road. That's an SEC winner. We'll take it and we'll keep progressing. You mentioned a couple big runs. Some of those came from Kellen Mond. What does it do yeah. for you to play Carr, just knowing you have a guy like him to be able to lean well, on? It does. And he had some run pass options there, and he picked up a couple big third downs in that drive, and then we allowed to pound the ball in. The young freshman got going. And, you know, we, we're not perfect. We got to get a lot better, but having his legs is huge. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. So Kellen Mond and Texas A&M, hold on. We've got plenty coming your way back in the studio. An update on Tua's health. What's going on with Alabama, Tennessee, and the rest of the college football landscape? 
on a wild day, not just in the SEC, but all across college football. Ole Miss lost momentum on a fumble return score that covered 62 yards. Buddy Johnson's stellar play continues for the Aggies. They come on the road and quiet Ole Miss, a 24-17 final in Oxford. Out of the studio, Dari, Doring, and Chiz. Gentlemen, all yours.